I've got this camping style battery, uh, primarily just about the battery at the moment. So, I've got it's a 100 amp hour battery. Okay, to the millimeter, and it's actually down to 4.3 volts. So, we're going to see if we can recover it. Now, because the battery voltage is so low, uh, normal smart chargers won't want to know about it. I'll just see it as being dead and won't do anything. Um, so, to get it kicked off and get the voltage into a range, the smart chargers will work. I use a, an old dumb charger that'll throw in a fair bit of current. So you want to hit it pretty hard. Give it, you know, this is guessing up to eight amps, but on something at least of that kind of calibre, you know, four, six, eight, 10, 12 amps. Um, this has been hacked. I did some other stuff with it a while ago, but pretty much it's just dumping voltage straight onto the battery just to, to get it up. Um, the lead acid batteries are pretty tolerant like that. So we'll use that for a bit. Uh, and see if the battery voltage comes up. Okay, so we'll uh, hook it up, see how it responds. So I've connected the charger to the battery. Initially, there's zero current draw. Uh, it'll start to build up over time. We'll come back and have a look how it's going in an hour or so. Alrighty, so we're now about an hour, a bit over an hour into the charging. So the current's out to about two amps. The battery's starting to take some of the charge. Voltage is still hovering pretty constantly around the 14.9, 14 mark, high 14s, 15. So I'll let this go a bit more till the current really starts moving up. I won't be surprised if we see it's getting up to around the 6 to 8 amp mark. Um, probably 6 amps, I think, from what I've seen previously. Um, briefly take the panther terminal off. I'll get to see what the voltage does. So I see it's running down, but we're not quite at 12 yet, like holding 12. It'll probably get down to 10, 9, 8, 9, 10. Good thing about this is, though, typically there's about six cells across in a battery. Um, if you've got some dead cells, uh, you won't hold the voltage. You might get to 8 volts. You just can't get above it, typically, if you lose a cell or, or a couple of cells. Um, so the fact that we're already up to around the 11 mark, um, uh, that's a pretty good sign that this battery should come back. I'll chuck this back on. Okay, so back now, about three hours later from the last time we checked. To three amps now, so it's definitely putting the power in. Uh, look, interestingly enough, as you saw originally, it's working its way down to a more stable voltage as it gets control. So it's now 13.3, which is actually a, a good, comfortable voltage. We're not frying the battery. like You're pretty much getting up into the 14s when you properly charge your battery. So at 13.3, we're still good. So we'll keep an eye on that and keep an eye on the current. But basically what you want to avoid is frying the battery. You don't want it to start uh, bubbling and evaporating the, um, in this case it's a gel, but still the, the, the liquid that's in the gel, you don't want to evaporate that. Otherwise you're going to kill the battery, but at this voltage, uh, that's not a problem. Just got to keep, it, keep an eye on it and make sure we don't go high in the 14s. Now things are settled down. Okay, still going, another a few hours later again, uh, getting close to 4 amps. Uh, voltage is still holding pretty good. So I'm going to turn it off for tonight. So most of the work I get done here is powered by the solar and not otherwise. So I'll let it rest overnight and have a look at where the voltage is at on the battery. Uh, and then we'll um, go from there. Okay, next morning, battery's had a rest. Uh, it's nicely sitting around the 11 mark, so that's good. Means the whole battery's uh, coming back up. So I'll give it a bit more of a hiding today uh, with the same charger. Uh, I'll get it up a bit higher and then uh, put the better quality recovery style charger, stage charges on. There you go, after a bit of rest. It's jumped up a lot more now. So it's taken it in a lot better. So I've had this going for about another, well, most of a day now, about mid, uh, mid afternoon. It's settling on the four amps still. Voltage has worked its way up 12.7. So I'll just take this off and see what happens for a bit. It's hovering, it'll say probably above 12 now, so 
what I'll do while it's up there, I'll get the uh, smart charger. It comes and does a bit of its pulsing and a variety of other things to uh, uh, fix up batteries. So I'm to get them back to charge. So I'll chuck that on now and we'll see what it does with this thing. This is the charger I'm going to use to do the work of getting the battery up. Uh, it's just a standard three stage thing which seems to do pretty well. I'll put it to gel because it is a gel battery and off we go. Okay, it's pulsing away. I'll leave it for a while, see how it goes. Okay, so our battery's made it to fully charged. Uh, voltage now, it's just trickle charging on 13.5, 13.6. There you go, brought back up. The next video, I'll test its capacity and we'll see how well it came up.